And now for the Monero development segment. Hello, right. hello. Hey. How's it going? It's going pretty well. How y'all doing? Good, good, man. good, good. good. Uh, we, we know Nim is patiently waiting. Thank you for patiently waiting. Um, I think we just have dev section and then we'll, we'll do, we'll have special guests on after that. Yep. Okay. That's the plan. And then we have Arctic mine as well. So we'll get yep. them up here as we'll well. We'll get them on. Sweet. Oh, yeah. Well, this is going to be a really short dev section today. Probably one of the shortest. Is it, um, I was scrolling through Twitter. I saw that the trust wallet had like a major exploit and it isn't directly Monero related because trust wallet was is a binance wallet i just want to do a quick overview about like, the dangers of like using a bad wallet and how important you know good development is and how important monero's community is in building that so it'll be really short dev sections today <laughs> all right we'll awesome. take it but yeah um basically ledger wallet the same person who makes the harbor wallet pretty much found a major exploit in binance's trust wallet and it's really bad and it if anyone uses this wallet, I think since they made this update, you should move your funds from it. But once again, it doesn't hold Monero, I believe. So you're good to go. I just want to give a cautionary tell of how important having good developers are. So you can thank our local or thank our Monero developers. Um, basically, the issue was in how the wallets generated the seeds. And the way that the trust wallet got its entropy was really wrong. I it, it ended up pulling entropy that only gave it 32 bits. And if you're familiar with entropy, that's really bad. Most um, standards wallets are going to have at least 128. So this was not literally bad, but just like exponentially terrible. You could fit all the wallets in like a text file. Really bad things. Wow. And then this was because of basically a library that they used. They misused it. It was actually the wrong library. So the library only gave them 32 bits of security, which is really bad. And I can, I can link to the write-up in the show notes after. But basically, it's very important to have a lot of eyes on your code. Being open source is, is required, but it's not enough. And it's really good that Monero, the team at Monero has a lot of developers who are looking at the code. The community is really big. A lot of people are, are looking at the code, so you're not going to get major bugs like this that are just obviously bad so and le thankfully ledger found the bug but an interesting thing is that they, at the end of this write-up they say that there are when they were doing their research they found other addresses that weren't created with the trust wallet that also had the bug so i remember last week body talked about these exploits that people are experiencing and people don't yeah. know where they're coming from this could be related to that so just mm -hmm. keep your keep your heads up if you're in the space Use a well-trusted wallet, right? Something like, you know, open source isn't enough. You have to have a good community behind it. And all of these wallets, like Monero GUI, Cake Wallet, are really legitimate. And they have a lot of devs looking at the software. And they're open source. So being open source isn't enough, but it's definitely required. And I just want to give a big shout out to all the Monero devs. I, and this, this should put you in, like, make you appreciate all the work the Monero devs are doing. Because we haven't had an exploit like this, <laughs> because um, the devs are very talented and they do a very good job at maintaining the different wallets and things like that. But yeah, I want to keep it short, and that's pretty much it for me. <laughs> oh awesome. wow, no, that was great! Sure, great yeah. cautionary <laughs> tale. I like that. Yeah, yeah. I, I want to just keep it short. Yeah, I didn't want to take up too much time. I'm really yeah, excited to hear the Nim and Arctic Monero, the Monero devs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, man, that's that's scary stuff, right? The, yeah. But the larger story of, of OG's wallets just getting drained, um, that's wild, right? And we still don't know where it's coming from. They, they, no one's told me, I, I have saw on Twitter where the hack's coming from. So, yeah, wallet security is very important. Maybe the whole elliptic curve is, uh, you know, somebody, somebody figured something out, but they, but they wouldn't want to maybe, drain, maybe they, strategically, they wouldn't want to drain Satoshi's wallet because then Bitcoin just goes to zero. You'd want to slowly slowly go after wallets right you don't you don't want to crash yeah the the entire project everybody will lose lose hope in it you would just steal crypto from here and there you you know even if you, you figured out how to how to steal satoshi's coins you'd have to be an idiot mm -hmm. to, be able to run and do that before you steal everybody else's pro yeah. wild, wild stuff <laughs> yeah <laughs> Well, I also want to say thank you to y'all. Yeah, y'all, y'all do a lot of work. I'm very excited for Nerotopia. I know we're excited, I'm excited to fly you. down. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, excited. I know. Right. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. fun. I'm looking forward to meeting her, you know, because we have a lot of internet friends. At least now we'll see them in person. And, and if we don't give you proper <laughs> attention there, it's because we're busy. So let, let us just give you our proper attention now, man. Uh, thank you <laughs> oh, so much. Thank you. <laughs> you know, a yeah, great addition. You, you came out of nowhere. You've been contributing uh, a ton to this <laughs> And you know, and then which is what you're doing outside of it too, man. Um, kudos to you for yeah, being thank you so much. <laughs> entrepreneur, man, and you're, you're making progress. It's seen. We appreciate seen. it. Thank we you so much. It. We heart. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. All right, so we'll see you next week. Then. All right, we'll buddy. see you then. Cheers. Have a see you next week. All right, yep. bye bye.